Good morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to the Minor Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag. Today is Thursday, the memorial of St. Leo the Great, Pope and Doctor. St. Leo was probably born in Rome and was raised to the See of Peter in year 440. He was a true pastor and father of souls. He labored strenuously to safeguard the integrity of the faith and vigorously defended the unity of the church. He pushed back, or at least softened, the onrush of the barbarians. He was then deservedly won the title the Great. He died in year 461. We will now have the morning prayer of the church. Integrated with the celebration of the Holy Mass, we invite you to actively participate in our prayers. Please stand. Lord, open my lips, and my, my mouth, mouth shall, shall declare, declare your praise. praise. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Cry out with joy to the Lord all the earth. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him, singing for joy. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Know that He, the Lord, is God. He made us, we belong to Him. We are his people, the sheep of his flock. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Go within his gates, giving thanks. Enter his courts with songs of praise. Give thanks to him and bless his name. Come, let us worship Christ, chief shepherd of the flock. Indeed, how good is the Lord, eternal his merciful love. He is faithful from age to age. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Come, let us worship Christ, Chief Shepherd of the flock. Please be seated. At daybreak, be merciful to me, O Lord. Lord, listen to my prayer. Turn your ear to my appeal. You are faithful, you are just, give answer. Do not call your servant to judgment, for no one is just in your sight. The enemy pursues my soul. He has crushed my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness, like the dead long forgotten. Therefore my spirit fails, my heart is numb within me. I remember the days that are past. I ponder all your works. I muse on what your hand has wrought, and to you I stretched out my hands. Like a parched land, my soul thirsts for you. Lord, make haste and answer, for my spirit fails within me. Do not hide your face, lest I become like those in the grave. In the morning, let me know your love, for I put my trust in you. Make me know the way I should walk. To you I lift up my soul. Rescue me, Lord, from my enemies. I have fled to you for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you, O Lord, are my God. Let your good spirit guide me in ways that are level and smooth. For your name's sake, Lord, save my life. In your justice, save my soul from distress. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord will make a river of peace flow through Jerusalem. Rejoice with Jerusalem, and be glad because of her. All you who love her, exalt, exalt with her. All you who are mourning over her. Oh, that you may suck fully, of the milk of her comfort, that you may nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. 
For thus says the Lord, Lo, I will spread prosperity over her like a river, and the wealth of the nations like an overflowing torrent. As nurslings you shall be carried in her arms, and fondled in her lap. As a mother comforts her son, so I will comfort you. In Jerusalem you shall find your comfort. When you see this, your heart shall rejoice, and your bodies flourish like grass. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Let us joyfully praise the Lord our God. Praise the Lord, for He is good. Sing to our God, for He is loving. To Him our praise is due. The Lord builds up Jerusalem and brings back Israel's exiles. He heals the brokenhearted. He binds up all their wounds. He fixes the number of the stars. He calls each one by its name. O Lord, is, our Lord is great and almighty. His wisdom can never be measured. The Lord raises the lowly. He humbles the wicked to the dust. O sing to the Lord, giving thanks. Sing psalms to our God with the heart. He covers the heavens with clouds. He prepares the rain for the earth, making mountains sprout with grass and with plants to serve man's needs. He provides the beasts with their food and young ravens that call upon him. His delight is not in horses, nor his pleasure in warriors' strength. The Lord delights in those who revere him, in those who wait for his love. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. O God, who never allowed the gates of hell to prevail against your church, firmly founded on the apostolic rock, grant her, we pray, that through the intercession of Pope St. Leo, she may stand firm in your truth and know the protection of lasting peace. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to Philemon. Beloved, I have experienced much joy and encouragement from your love, because the hearts of the holy ones have been refreshed by you, brother. Therefore, although I have the full right in Christ to order you to do what is proper, I rather urge you out of love being as I am, Paul, an old man, and now also a prisoner for Christ Jesus. I urge you on behalf of my child Onesimus, whose father I have become in my imprisonment, who was once useless to you, but is now useful to both you and me. I am sending him that is my own heart, back to you. I should have liked to retain him for myself so that he might serve me on your behalf in my imprisonment for the gospel. But I did not want to do anything without your consent so that the good you do might not be forced by voluntary Perhaps this is why he was away from you for a while, that you might have him back forever, no longer as a slave, but more than a slave, a brother, beloved especially to me, but even more so to you, as a man and in the Lord. So if you regard me as a partner, Welcome him as you would me. And if he has done you any injustice, 
or owes you anything, charge it to me. I, Paul, write this in my own hand. I will pay. May I not tell you that you owe me your very self. Yes, brother, may I profit from you in the Lord. Refresh my heart in Christ. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord secures justice for the oppressed, gives food to the hungry. The Lord sets captives free. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The Lord gives sight to the blind. The Lord raises up those who were bowed down. The Lord loves the just. The Lord protects strangers. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. The fatherless and the widow he sustains, but the way of the wicked he thwarts. The Lord shall reign forever, your God, O Zion, through all generations. Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob. Please stand. I am the vine, you are the branches, says the Lord. Whoever remains in me and I in him will bear much fruit. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you and with your spirit reading from the holy gospel according to luke glory to you o lord asked by the pharisees when the kingdom of god would come jesus said in reply the coming of the kingdom of god cannot be observed and no one will announce look here it is or there it is for behold the kingdom of god is among you then he said to his disciples the days will come when you will long to see one of the days of the son of man but you will not see it there will be those who will say to you look there he is or look here he is do not go off, do not run in pursuit, for just as lightning flashes and lights up the sky from one side to the, to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer greatly and be rejected by this generation. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. Mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat at maligayang pagdating dito po sa simbahan ng Manawag. Tinanong po si Jesus ng mga pariseyo, kailan ba darating ang karian ng Diyos? Bakit po mahalaga na sagutin ito ng ating Panginoong Jesus? Kasi kung titignan po natin sa lumang tipan, si Propeta Daniel ay merong propesya at napaka-precise at exact. Sinabi niya, darating ang kaharian ng Diyos pagkatapos ng apat na kaharian. At iniisa-isa niya yung kaharian na yun. Maunang Babylonia, ang Persia, ang mga Griego, at Romano. At dun sa ikaapat na kaharian, dun sa kaharian ng mga Romano, mayroong isang bato at ang batong yun, na maliit na bato, ay lalago, lalaki, parang bundok. 
At yun ang sumisimbolo sa kaharian ng Diyos. At mahalaga na sagutin ng Panginoong Yesus yun. Dahil sila ay nasaan sa konteksto at sa oras o sa panahon ng karian ng mga Romano. Kaya matindi ang anticipation ng mga tao sa pagdating ng kaharian ng Diyos. Kaya makikita natin o maririnig natin na sa ibang account, sa ibang helyo, Sinabi ng ating Panginoon, the kingdom of God is at hand. Narito na ang kaharian ng Diyos. Pero hindi ito nakikita. Lalong-lalo na sa paningin at mata ng mga Hudyo, ng mga Israelita, na nag-a-anticipate, na naghihintay sa kaharian, na punong-puno ng kadakilaan ng kapangyarihan. Pero hindi yun ang ipinakita ng ating Panginoon. Pero sinabi niya, the kingdom of God is at hand. Ngayon na. Totoo po yun, pero may kulang. May kulang dahil totoo na ang kaharian ng Diyos ay sobrang dakila. Napaka makapangyarihan. At isang tunay na kaharian. Pero hindi natin ito makikita ngayon. Yung pisikal na kaharian ng ating Panginoon. Darating at darating. Mapupuntahan natin. Pero ang sinabi niya, the kingdom of God is at hand. Ngayon na. Totoo yun. Pero ito'y misteryo. Totoo ang kaharian ng Diyos ngayon. Pero ito'y misteryo. Kaya nga sinabi pa ni ang ating Panginoon kay Pedro, Pedro, I give you this keys of the kingdom of heaven. Ibinigay kay Pedro ang susi ng kaharian ng langit. At sinabi pa niya sa isang account, kung mapapansin niyo, nung mga nakaraang araw, sinabi ng ating Panginoon, patungkol sa templo. The stone rejected by the builder will become the cornerstone. At pagkatapos, sinabi pa, itong templo nito ay maguguho at aking itatayo sa loob ng tatlong araw. At tungkol sa yun, Patungkol sa kanyang katawan, patungkol sa kanyang pagkahari. At ang misteryong yun ay sa simbahan. Ang misteryo ng kaharian ng Diyos ay sa simbahan. Ito ang pisikal na pagkahari ng ating Panginoon dito sa lupa. Pero misteryo. At ang misteryong yun ay ang kanyang presensya sa simbahan. At sino bang simbahan? Ito ba? Ito bang gusaling ito? Isn't it that each and every one of us is the temple of the Holy Spirit? At ang bawat isa sa atin ay makikita sa atin ang presensya ng ating Panginoon. Kaya sinabi dito, Behold, the kingdom of God is among you. Nasa sa atin ang kaharian ng Diyos. Nasa sa atin ang misteryo ng kaharian ng Diyos, ang presensya ng Diyos. Pero yung misteryo, hindi natin agad-agad nakikita. Yun ang misteryo. Nandito ang kaharian ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin. Pero sana makita mo. Kaya minsan, nung ako'y seminarista pa, ako'y chaplain ng mga batang tiple, yung mga kumakanta sa simbahan. Galit na galit ako noon kasi ang ingay sa misa. Tapos minagalitan ko sila, 
alam nyo kapag kumakanta kayo, nararamdaman ng tao yung presensya ng Diyos. Pero may sumagot, di ba, Fry, the presence of God is everywhere. Kahit saan. Totoo. Kahit saan tayo mapunta, nandoon ang presensya ng Panginoon. Pero nararamdaman mo ba? Namamayani ba? Yung presensya ng ating Panginoon sa atin. At yun yung misteryo yung pinapaalala ng ating Panginoon. Na ang kanyang kaharian ay nasa sa atin. Pero kailangan mong maramdaman. Kailangan mong makita. Kailangan mong ma-experiensya. At hindi sa lahat ng pagkakataon, nararamdaman nakikita o na-experience natin. Kaya tanghamon sa atin na sana sa presensya mo, maramdaman ko ang presensya ng Diyos. Na sa mga pagkakataon ng ating mga kapatid, ay nalulungkot, nalulumbay, nagdududa, nagugutom, nauuhaw. Sino magpaparamdam sa kanila ng kaharian, ng kaluwalhatian, ng kadakilaan, ng kapangyarihan ng ating Panginoon? Pero sana tayo. Dahil sinabi pa ng ating Panginoon, whatever you do to the least of my brethren, you do it unto me. At sana ipadama din natin sa kanila ang kaharian ng Diyos ang namamayani sa ating lahat. Lalong-lalo na sa mga nahihirapan. Nangangailangan na nagdududa, nawawala ng tiwala, naghahanap ng pag-ibig, na sana mamayani ang kaharian ng Diyos. Nasa atin ang kaharian ng Diyos. Ipadama mo. Pakita mo. Iparanas mo. Please stand. Let us pray with the fullness, with the fullest trust to the Lord of life who waits for us at the end of life's road. For every petition, we shall answer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the church may constantly prepare the people to welcome Christ when He, when he returns. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That by their commitment to justice and peace, Christians may bring all people <coughs> together in faith and hope and prepare them for the final coming of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That tragedies caused by nature or human cruelty may not distract us or weaken our faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may accept Jesus in their hearts and see Him present in their trials. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our Pope, the College of Bishops, parents, relatives, benefactors, and for all those whom we promise to pray, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For justice, peace, and development of the country, and for our brothers and ministry at San Lorenzo Ruiz and Most Holy Rosary, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of Vevlage Dila Nimeshka Fernando, who is celebrating his birthday today, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have died may be freed from the troubles of this world and enjoy everlasting peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you are always near to us. You know our needs better than we do. Help us to be always aware of your presence now and forever. Amen. Amen. Please be seated.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice in yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Through the offerings made here, we pray, O Lord, graciously shed light on your church so that your flock may everywhere prosper and that under your governance, the shepherds may become pleasing to your name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father. Almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Leo, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in the name of the Lord. O Sana, O Sana, O Sana in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take these, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. 
do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Socrates, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep. In the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face, have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let the Savior's command and form by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Lord, we pray for Mary evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. 
Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world, and blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us in eternal. Strengthened by Christ, Blessed Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the Church. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies from the hands of all who hate us. He promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham, to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit as it was in the beginning, is now and will be forever. Amen. Strengthened, Strengthened by Christ, Christ blessed Peter, Peter has remained steadfast as a rock in his guidance of the church. Let us pray. Be pleased, O Lord, we pray, 
to govern the church you have nourished by this holy meal, so that, firmly directed, she may enjoy ever greater freedom and persevere in integrity of religion through Christ our Lord. Amen. Maraming salamat po sa inyong pakikisa sa banal na misa at patuloy po nating ipagdasal ang isa't isa. Mag-ingat po kayo palagi saan man kayo papunta. The Lord be with you and with your spirit and may the blessing of the Almighty God the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit come down on you and remain with you forever. Amen. Our celebration is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Prayer for the blessing of the sick. God, our Almighty Father, by your blessing, you give us strength and support in our frailty. Turn with kindness toward our sick brothers and sisters, free them from all illness, and restore them to good health through the intercession of Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, so that, in the sure knowledge of your goodness, they will gratefully bless your holy name. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer for the blessing of rosaries and other religious articles. In memory of the mysteries of the life, death, and resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, and to the honor and glory of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of Christ, Mother of the Church, Our Lady of the Rosary of Manawag, may these rosaries, candles, oils, and images, and other religious articles be blessed and be made holy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.